Hello, hello, beautiful humans. My name is Jen Schnod, and I am a developer advocate here at Ivan. Today, I'll walk you through a few queries such as select, insert, update, and delete for Postgres using PG Admin. Let's get started. Let's get started with some basic queries using PG Admin. On the left side under DBs on DBs for me, this is my server group. I can click down and I can see the three servers that I had set up. Under Postgres setup, this is the one that I was using previously. I have my four databases and I can go to the one that has example data. By clicking down under schemas, if I scroll down, I can see my tables. And by right clicking there, I can go to the query tool. I personally really like this query tool. It's something that's easy and I can always have the scratch pad on the right, which is where I will put in the details of what we will be working on today in the scratch pad. Let me make sure we can see our tables that we are using. All right. So to get started with queries, this is a way of getting data, organizing data, searching data, updating data, manipulating the data that you have within your database. So to start, let's go look and see what we have within the actor table. So if I type out select the asterisk from, I'm gonna be doing using the first table that we have. I will be selecting actor. The enter does not run it. So as a heads up, I do that by default and think it's gonna send like a text message. It does not. You do have to go up further and click execute. And voila, we have a bunch of pre-filled data that we already had in our database from our example data. I can see that we have a total rows of 200 of 200 and how long it took the query to complete. Now, cool, we have these 200 rows, but there's one missing actor in there. Me, I wanna be an actor. So what I'll do for this one, I'm gonna be using insert into this query right here. So insert into table name. My table name is actor and column one, column two, column three. So column one is actor underscore ID. Column two is first name, first underscore name. And then column three is last underscore name. And this is where I can add in the values. Since I know that there's 200 of 200 rows, I'll add my value of my actor ID as 201. My value two that you can see are in the quotes will be my name. And value three, I'll put in quotes as well since I will be putting in text and my last name. Now we'll go ahead and run it. Perfect, insert one and the query successfully returned. So before I keep moving forward, I'm going to actually delete this and do select from again. And the reason that I'm doing this is I can see that it updated with a total rows of 201 of 201. I scroll all the way down, I can see that it added my name. But wait a minute, that's not how I spell Jen. I spell Jen with two N's, not a gajillion N's. So that means I need to update some information. So we're gonna go through and update. So what I used for this query is update query or update, and I'm gonna set what I want to have inserted and where is it gonna be looking for this. 
So I will say the set will be actor underscore ID. And I want that value to be 202. And then column two is first name. And I want that to be Jen. Now, where we need to use last name. And I will enter my last name, Janad. Go ahead and click execute. Now, it's like, yo, you didn't fill this out. What's going on? I forgot to update the table name. And so I will do that now. Uh-oh, what's going on? There's another error. No worries, I forgot to add quotes. And with that update, it was successfully updated. So again, we're gonna go back and use our, to be able to pull all of the data from our database and select from table name and choose actor. Let's see if it says I'm the 202nd actor. So we'll see that there are total rows of 201 out of 201, yet it does show me as 202 actor ID, Jen Chudod. Perfect. But you know what? This is just not what I'm going to do. It is not my calling. I'm good. I just, it's not my thing. So I'm going to delete myself. And I'm going to use the delete from table name and where. So I will do delete from table name actor where. We're going to go with actor ID because that's going to be the identifier. And some value, we updated it to 202. Execute. Oh, it deleted something. So let's go check it out with using the select all. All right, select from table name. And we choose actor one more time. And I can see that it is, again, total rows, 200 of 200. And if I scroll all the way down, I'm no longer there. In this video, we reviewed a few queries such as select, insert, update, and delete in Postgres using PG Admin. In the description below, you'll see a few resources to help you find out more about queries. And in another video, we'll show you about having a secure connection. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to Ivan. Bye.